So in this step, it's up to you to choose which attributes, which functions you want to carry across from our original project, part one, into the new word in part two. For example, you might like to use the A and S keys, or maybe you programmed to something different, to change the size of the letters. We've already got the up arrow. Maybe you want to use the right arrow to change the color. I'm going to do that one. So I'm going to zoom out a bit because it works much better when it's not too zoomed in and just grab and drag that to each of the letters in my new word. So we're getting lots of practice today at copying code to each of our letters. So let's test that. If I press restart our code, red stop sign, green flag. If I press the right arrow key, yeah, look, they all change to random colors. That's looking really cool. And of course, they still go to random positions, work their way back. We can combine those so they can change color as they come back. Perfect. Now, what else could we carry across? So we could get the random. So animation at the moment is animating, but the word scratch, and of course you might have a different word, is not animating yet. So let's drag that one across. We're going to get... Oh, I dropped it. We're going to get this random kind of stop motion -y random twisting thing happening. And just drag that to each of our letters in our new word now. Now you may have added some extra things in your first project and you might choose whether to drag those across or not. So let's see if I green flag it. Yep. They're all wobbling in a totally random way really nicely. That doesn't affect any other code. Let's see. Yeah, they all come straight back to where they should be and the color change works nicely. 